Alright, so today I've put on my heavy duty clothing again, some heavy duty boots, long pants and a long sleeve sweater. And I also have my pressure bandage just in case because we're going to have a look at a quite venomous snake today. So let's grab the snake. Can you see the whole thing? Good. Alright, so today's snake species is one of the largest, most venomous and most feared snakes in all of Australia. This here is a coastal taipan. It's one of three taipan species in the world and the only taipan species to be found naturally outside Australia. Here in Australia it occurs along the east and north coasts of Australia from around Coffs Harbour over to west in, in around Derby. Um, and there's a subspecies living in the southern regions of PNG. That's the subspecies called the Papuan Taipan or Oxyranus gutilatus canine. <laughs> Within their range, they utilize a few different habitats, ranging from wet and dry sclerophyll to almost rainforest and also human altered habitats, and especially cane fields, where healthy rodent populations keep Taipans super, super good and chunky. As you can see, this is a very large specimen. It is about 2.1, 2.2 2 meters long. So because of their high toxicity and abundance in human altered habitats has made them a very fed snake in Australia. Uh, they occur close to humans and they're not especially afraid of humans. They're just curious to our presence. Uh, as you might see with this snake, it's quite calm, but it's very observant of what I am doing. Taipans are quite curious snakes. They are highly alert to human presence and not afraid of us. So let's, for instance, compare this snake to an eastern brown. When cornered, an eastern brown would probably rear up in defense quite quickly, while a taipan would actually have a look at the situation and act accordingly after that. But if the snake is cornered or harassed, it will act in a very defensive way. So the overall look of the taipan, it's, the coloration of it is usually uniformly colored brown all along the body. Some individuals might have a bit different coloration along the upper back. So for instance, the Papuan taipan, which is a subspecies of this, this species here, would have some more like purplish color. Um, but here in, here in Australia, they're usually different shades of brown ranging from beige to dark brown. Taipans also usually have a very dominant head which is quite much, much larger than the neck. And people usually call it coffin shaped. I think that's a bit grim, so let's call it heart shaped instead. Way better for such a pretty snake. And also another feature on the head that stands out for, from the uniformly colored body is that they usually have a bit of, of lighter coloration on their face. It usually starts along the nose and follows the, like the eyebrows on top. But in some individuals, it, uh, it can be across the whole face. So here in the Townsville region, there's a few snakes the Taipan can, can look like. And because of its kind of status in Australia for being a very feared large venomous snakes, a lot of snake observations gets blamed on the, on the Taipan by the public. So in the Townsville regions, there's mainly three snakes this species can look like. And that's keelbacks, although it would be a baby Taipan compared to a keelback, because keelbacks only reach about 70 to 80 centimeters long and keelbacks compared to taipans will of course have heavily keeled scales so they will have a small keel in each scale the head would be a bit smaller compared to the body and um, well the keelback also actually have a quite cute smile but if you're that close to the snake's head it might be a bit too late if it's a uh, venomous one and not a harmless one the two other species are two venomous snakes, so in the same family as the taipan, they would be the lesser black whip snake and the eastern brown. The lesser black would be a bit different because the head is not as big, it kind of blends in with the body. And also the shading of brown along the body would, would uh, transition from light to black to a bit lighter again and over to black. Um, in eastern browns, they are definitely the snake that would look most like taipans. The eastern brown have not a such a prominent neck. It would blend more in with the body, such as the lesser black whip snake. And also the, the uh, eastern brown would be 
the body proportion would be more the same size. You wouldn't have such a prominent neck. You wouldn't have such a large belly. It would all be like a long sausage. And another thing that's similar between Taipans and Ethan Brown is that both of them have these beautiful polka dots, as I mentioned in my Ethan Brown video, along the belly that they show off when they are threatened. In Taipans, they are way more dimmed down than in Ethan Brown. So this is absolutely a stunning, stunning, stunning snake. Um, I've added some links in the description below, both to the two uh, venomous species I described earlier that can look similar to the Taipan, the lesser black whip snake and the eastern brown. Uh, I've also added some more links with some more photos, a bit more information. And for those of you who would like to see some more footage of these amazing animals, uh, I've added another video about the absolutely tantalizing animals down in the description.